Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is Jordan here. Um, first of all, I am a little sick, so sorry that I sound a little bit plugged up. It's because I am. Um, so I am bringing you some gameplay here finally of uh, Rise, Son of Rome. Um, this is a game that I've had for a couple of weeks, um, but have not taken out of the plastic wrap. Um, I really wanted to uh, make sure that I got to enjoy it. Um, I'm the type of person that really likes to... Uh... Ooh, that was a nice one. Wasn't the right button, but... Um, you know, I'm one of those people that likes to start a game and then I like to finish it. I don't like to uh, sit around and like open a, you know, I don't like to have like six or five, six or five. I don't like to have a bunch of games going at one time. Like if I have more than two games that I haven't finished as far as achievements go, then I don't like to start another one. So um, I just kind of have this one going. I haven't finished Ghost yet and I, and I still have uh, Forza, although Forza at this point I think I'm almost done with it. But um, so anyway, this is uh, Rise Son of Rome. Um, look, look at him hitting me while I'm down. Um, so anyway, this is a really fun game. You know, this is one of the um, launch titles that came out with the uh, Xbox One, and um, this game's fantastic. Um, it is a uh, third-person game, and it's sort of a... Um, I don't really know how to explain it. It's, it's, like a, it's a fighting game, but, um, you know, it's similar to, like, say, a Skyrim or something like that in that sense, like when you fight somebody, but... Um, it's 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 different. Like it's more storyline oriented. So um, the story is that um, you start as Marius, who's the character that I'm playing as, and this is actually um, toward the beginning. Um, the first night I played it, I was all pumped, and I recorded, tried to record a couple videos, and it wouldn't let me record, and I didn't really put it together until the end of the night. And it's because the game was still installing. Um, this game took forever, man, to install, just like uh, Ghost did when I put it in on launch night, like, I, I was so excited on launch night, I came home and put in Ghost, and it started installing, and I wasn't able to play it for, like, an hour, so this one, this one took quite a long time, this one probably took, um, I'd say to fully install it, probably took about an hour and a half to two hours, um, you know, it, it was kind of misleading, because you got to one point, and it's like, oh, you can, it's a pretty cool battle scene right here, this is, uh, the scene that I was just doing, but I died, as you saw a minute or two ago, so it reloaded, and this is how long it takes to get back. So I mean, it's been over a minute, and uh, you know, it can it can be frustrating at times. I am playing on uh, the difficulty Centurion, which is like uh, second from the top. Um, the one above this is, I believe, it's called Legendary, and so I I went just straight to this one. I I don't play these type of games ever, and I've never played this game before, and I just figured like I don't want to be weak, and you know, try one of the lower difficulties. Not that people who try them are weak, I just, you know, I've been playing video games long enough that I should be able to play on something higher than a low difficulty, but um, so as you see, I mean, you're you're basically fighting around here with all these guys. Um, when a guy goes to attack you like that, you have to hit A at exactly the right moment. Um, if you do it too early, um, you won't block the attack, and if you do it too late, you won't block the attack. So you have to do it exactly at the right time, um, and then you hit and or push. So I can hit him with my sword, which is the X button, and I can push him um, with my shield, which is the Y button. Um, and at this point, I, I hadn't gotten... I'm not as good at this point as I am in, in the next few videos I'm uploading, but, um, you know, you get to execute guys. So once you get their health down low enough, they get a skull above their head. You press the right trigger, and it allows you to execute them, and that's when you go into this mode right here, which is super slow mode. And what happens is it pops up, and their body flashes a color, um, and that's the button, corresponding button that you need to push. And so, um, it's pretty cool. Um, I do have uh, three more videos that I'm uploading right now, so make sure you guys check those out too. I have much better gameplay in those. I'm playing much, much better, considering I'm a couple more hours into the game. Um, so thank you for checking this one out. Um, make sure you guys check out the other ones, and make sure you subscribe. I appreciate all you guys watching. Thank you.